Well, listen up, Rangers. Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. It's you this is part review. Getting to some more backlog figures with the Essie's Figure Arts Lloyd and Your Forger from Spy Family. These are the casual outfits. So you have the father and the mother variant. Uh, main reason I picked this up. Really like Spy Family. Especially Your. Your is awesome. So when I get the stuff. And I actually don't mind Lloyd. <laughs> so, we grab this stuff. I still have to pick up the, uh, the other kids. Because I mainly have the uh, Anya variants, but I haven't picked up the other ones. So, working on that, it's just kind of hard for me to want to buy them and spend the same amount of money that you're paying for these ones, which are much bigger figures with more accessories. So, <laughs> it's hard to vouch for. Also, I'm just not realizing on the package they have different stuff here. Like, he has a little dagger with the eye. And she has the little kunai thing going on there. But you'll see, uh, Yor is currently not in her prison. She's been kind of just hanging out literally like this from the live stream since I'm uh, doing that because again meaning to get around to doing the reviews so I already swapped out his face to actually kind of what I was going to have him uh, display it as anyways when we were messing around with that I hate that it shows furniture here and there's no furniture for me to put them in like I have to go find some like dollhouse furniture in order to get that stupid couch <laughs> which I might it's tempting to, uh, at least for these ones, to maybe have them, like, sitting around in the display case. Problem is, starting to run out of room again. So, we'll have to figure that one out. But anyways, uh, since we already got your out of her cardboard prison, I guess we'll check her out real quick. Because I'm already on the... I plan on swapping out the heads because I'm already having the assassin version. I kind of want to have this with the long hair. You really see her majority wise like this, like with her hair tucked up. And with the bangs coming out towards the front, which looks really good. Face looks awesome, by the way. I think they did a really good job on the eyes. Got a nice little smile. The outfit actually has some texturing to it, which is nice. Almost kind of feels like she's wearing a sweater with the open revealed back. Which is very iconic for that. Only thing is, is the uh, the outfit definitely gets in the way with some of the uh, pose ability, so you can't have her like doing crazy kicks while she's wearing this thing, which is a little sad because she still gets a bit acrobatic while wearing this. You know, I just realized we filmed that other. I just got done doing the Mjorn video, and I did not even show up remotely the articulation for that thing. <laughs> no, I'm mentioning it. About this one. Like, I guess you can kind of, like, if you reel her back a little bit. Because she's got slits here so that her legs can move outwards a bit. But the side skirt definitely gets in the way. And then she only comes with this piece here. Which you can, to be honest, from the stream, I never even got this thing out. It did, did it, do. But she comes with this so you can have her sitting how the hell do you put oh okay so i guess you got to put the joint in and then you just tuck that in underneath so you got to remove oh oh <laughs> <laughs> that was violent. I don't think all that was supposed to go. Is it though? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> just realizing that was something. Oh, I thought it was just going to be like a pop. That was so violent. That's her butt. We need her butt facing this way. At least it folds around. <laughs> <sighs> good times, good times. Oh my god, that does not want to go in, though. Bit of a pain. Might be one of those things you might have to heat it up before trying to attempt this. Because the other thing is this flexes right here, so it's not the easiest thing. Like, it's there. I don't know if that's high enough for me to 
Well, you can kind of tell what's going on. So it's sort of like this. Where she's doing the seated posturing. But <laughs> if you ever want to see uh, yours insides, there you go. Now, can I get it back in without much fuss? Looks like I can. All right, cool. And then that just slots into there. All right, well, that was terrifying. Let's do the head. <laughs> also, for some of the other stuff, she comes with some extra hands. You get some wine. Oh, so you act. Do you get different sizes? That is. Okay. I don't want to mess with this really because I don't want to lose these, but you get the wine bottle. You get a glass. And then you get different sizes that are super tiny for how drunk you want your your. If you can get it to lay flush. There we go. It looks like it's sloshing around a little bit now. And then there's an even smaller one. Is that actually for this? It doesn't seem the right shape. Oop. Oh, this is probably for she's drinking. Got it. So you put that in and now it looks like she's sipping. Oh, that's pretty clever. I like that. Granite. <laughs> it's, for collecting purposes, it is a bit terrifying. I'll get the extra heads out, but here are the extra hands. I love that she's got a little hand for her while holding with Anya. Now you get some gripping hands, chopping hands. Ooh, you actually get it for both sides. That's sweet, so you have options there. Again, for like toy photography and stuff, it gives you so many options with these things. Like I said, it's weird. Because again, having done the Mjorn, I can't get a sticker to go on the stupid phone. <laughs> so it actually looks like the phone from the show. But she comes with a wine glass <laughs> that gives you options for how you want her to be sitting there with the wine. It's nuts. <laughs> And I think that they're, they're the same price. Like, I don't I don't get it. Like, there's so much more engineering going on with this, too. Anyways, you get drunk face happy your, which is kind of what I'm t thinking about. Ooh. You get stern face. You get oh, face, which is the other one I was thinking of. And then you get super happy face, which I kind of like that one, too. This has so many good expressions. And a nice thing, too, is these actually work with the other one, too. So if you want to flip-flop between them, you can. But I have that one set up as super serious. So... Let's see, is the joint in the plate? But it's not. It's also probably going to be super stiff, because I don't think I tried this during the stream. So that slides out of there. And then this... Should just pop off. Yep, like so. And it's gone forever. Onto the office floor with you. And now, we swap out this one. That pops in. Maybe. Let's see, where is... That's just yelling. I want hammered. It does not want to go together right off the back. God, there's like so many things. It really wants me to heat everything up. But I don't want to heat everything up. I just want it to work the first time. I'm gonna break this. 
Because then I gotta stop filming for the pleasure of having it swapped out, and I don't want to. There, ha! Huh? She's drunk! <laughs> love me, Lloyd, love me. Also, you can see her armpits. <laughs> I do not know why those aren't red joints. Why are those skin tone? That's weird. <laughs> Because <laughs> it goes for the, like, it's literally in the red shirt part. Why isn't that red? I guess it's only, oh, okay, I, I, I guess it's because if you have the arms like this, it would look weird if it was red, but it still looks weird. So, <laughs> I guess that she, they aren't thinking you're going to be like, Hoo -hoo! with your, uh, your forger. Uh, but other than that, she does have double jointed elbows. Chess has got some solid posability. Ball joint at the shoulder. It does actually shift in and outwards too. And then single joint of knees. Feet are on a joint. So you can rotate um, the hinge in one direction. To articulation. Hand. Solid amount of play. There's quite a bit of the cuff going around the hand. So it's not super crazy in the posability department. But you do get a little bit here and there. And now that wants to pop out loose. Since we popped it out once, it's not going to ever not stay in again. All right, real quick, go over Lloyd. Like I mentioned on the stream, for the most part, you get... He doesn't actually... Well, I guess you don't really need to have the parts for sitting. But he does come with crossed arms. You get the newspaper here, which, again, has... Stuff on both sides, but I can't get a stupid cell phone with one little sticker, but I can get a full freaking newspaper. Go figure. Which is to show, you can get in a sitting position, as you would expect from your SH figure arts. It's not a crack ton to really go over them. It's just like, here's dude in white long <laughs> sleeve shirt. I do like the Bond mask, though. I feel like it's the whole reason to pick this guy up is for this. You also get... Woo! Mother. Ugh. You also get a full extra head. Which... These bangs are for his traditional look. Where the face is exposed on the forehead and then this is for when you want it super messy over top and then you get this one because this is for the actual bond head so you get two heads and pretty much three face plates that go or three extra little hair accessories that go along with this guy and get some extra heads where you get kind of happy face stern face Serious, slightly open mouth, happy open mouth, and extra hands. You get some gloved hands, you get the loose hands of the same variant, so you get some gripping hands, some clenched fist. I have to actually put on the gloves. <sighs> but what do I want to give him? I guess clenched fist? Make him look like he's going to be fighting. Kind of like this. That's more or less what I was going for with this. But, unlike your, Lloyd only has single jointed elbows. Also, that does not make you into the figure. Yeah, so he only has single joints because of the way his uh, shirt's designed. Pops in like so, so now we can have them getting ready to fight. Also, a single joint of knees, legs shift upwards and downs, more or less your typical figure arts amount of posability. Heads on multiple joints here as well. So, you can rotate that all the way around. It's also the next, got its own little joints, shoulders can actually swivel out pretty decently far. At least on that side. 
It can come clean out of the body. This one's a little bit stiffer, but you can start kind of working that out if you really wanted to. Also hinges forward a little bit there as well. But for Lloyd, it's a really good figure. Like I said, I mainly wanted just so I could have the Bond head. And then <laughs> I, I really wanted to kind of have them fighting, like having her look drunk and then doing moves. But the way that they designed her shirt here, you can't really do that. Which is the only kind of bummer I would say with your is it's a good looking figure, but it's not the most posable figure in the world, especially for our figure arts. I wish there was maybe some kind of, uh, maybe some seam. It's kind of weird because the outfit isn't meant to have seams on the legs, but I almost feel like it was kind of needed. That or maybe have been a good candidate for an actual like soft goods figure. Yeah, soft goods probably would be really good too. It would be kind of hard to replicate the back of the shirt, I would think, in the scale, but almost feel like it was kind of needed though but anyways they're pretty sweet you can pick these guys up on entertainment earth you can help support the channel get yourself some cool collectibles especially if you guys really like spy family and help us defeat those guys by hitting the like button subscribe become a ranger today we also got instagram patreon tiktok facebook you guys like keep up the day with channel donate greatly would appreciate it we'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye